You won't believe this. Look at this. Oh, man. Hi, everyone. We're in Port Louis at Adali to get the octopus shawarma. You won't believe this. Look at this. Oh, man. It's juicy and tender. Juicy and tender. It's an actual octopus. What, what do you call it? A, a, a shawarma. 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 Yeah. And this is this is the genius who, well, he, he invented it. <laughs> Even though it comes from Spain and Mexico, this is it. It is it is like how many octopus? About fifty octopus on there. Oh man, it is beautiful. And then you pop it into the bread. Oh man. With garlic sauce. A little bit of garlic sauce. A few pickles and coriander and some coriander look at that juicy tender octopus oh wow cut fresh off this monster oh man oh with the pineapple at the bottom oh wow and you get a little bit of pineapple into it as well so there's a little bit of sweetness with the octopus I'm, 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 I'm definitely eating this. I'm definitely going to try this. But first of all, I've got to get a million photographs. Look at it just cutting up so easy, soft and tender. They've been preparing this since early in the morning. Uh -huh. Look at this, look what I'm getting to try. <laughs> oh wow, and you can tell it's not, and you can tell it's the female because the suckers go all the way to the end. <laughs> oh man, I'm, I'm just dying to try this. I mean, the whole experience, you've just got to come oh, to the experience. Oh, and it but... smells so tasty. Mm. That pineapple oh. note coming through, how is it? Oh, it's so it looks nice really to flavor. Soft. Oh, it really is soft. Mm. I like the end pieces because they got a little bit of crunch and the flavor on it. Oh man. You gotta try some, Rick. You gotta uh, try some. Mm. Uh -huh. mm. Exactly. Wow. Uh, no, uh, no. <laughs> oh, and he's doing the wrap. He's already put everything on. Oh, and what is that? Is that like a yogurt? Yogurt. A yogurt. Mm. Herb yogurt. And look at the pile of octopus he puts on that. Oh man. Oh wow, you can actually see the pieces of octopus, that bit I just ate, just right in there with the pineapple in this beautiful wrap with, with the yogurt sauce, the traditional Turkish it, Yeah, it's a Turkish sauce. restaurant. It is, it's a Turkish restaurant. <laughs> oh man. Probably. <laughs> okay, here's the wrapping of it. Fold it on the side and done. Oh, and then into the grill for a little bit just to toast it up perfectly on the outside. And done. Oh, perfect. Wait a second, and then into the grill for a little bit. Just to toast it up perfectly on the outside. Okay, yes, all we need to do is put on as well. You must get sure it's as fitted as you can get. You can stand on the way. So they must place orders. Yeah. You have to place an order. Yeah. We work only on orders. Only on orders. People have been only coming and it's like, no, you must come back on Saturday. Yeah. Today is sold out. Sold out. Sold. Because they're like the only and, ones uh, in Mauritius doing this. Every Friday we make biryani. Every Friday biryani. Every Friday Like they start selling it from 11, we got you at 5 to 11. And it's almost gone. Uh huh, because people have ordered and they're coming because this is the only place you can get this. Like in the southern hemisphere. <laughs> you have to go all the way to Mexico to find this somewhere or Spain. Exactly, Mexico or Spain. Mexico or Spain. <laughs> oh, yeah, in Port Louis. How long did it take you to make? When did you start this morning? We start at 6. 
6 o'clock in the morning, wow. It's slow cooking. Slow cooking, yeah, because it's so soft. Yeah. Wow, it's worth it though. You've got a nice place to sit off yeah. the street. Oh, yeah. wow, though. Oh, with the lemon. These guys are making great food. Oh, man, look at that. Ricky's probably got a million photos. But before I bite into that, I just want to show you something. They actually do homemade tamarind juice and homemade iced tea. Oh wow. So I'm dying of thirst after all my, all my footage. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, making up time for more adverts. Okay, it was funny to start with. <laughs> Getting thirsty now. Uh, okay, tamarind juice. Wow. Anyway. Oh, oh wow. This is a really good tamarind juice. Ricky's going to have to try some. Well, you know it's real tamarind when you have to shake it because mm. the oh, tamarind yes. settles a bit. Oh man, that's going to go so well with the octopus. It's got a nice sourness to it. I think because there's some lemon on there that you, you don't really want to eat that. It's not salad. You probably have to squeeze it. Okay. Just, you know, yeah. speaking as a, as a gourmet. person. <laughs> I mean, each to his own. You can yeah. eat lemon, but... Why don't we just break this in half? Go for it. Oh, look how crumbly the bread is. It's so fresh. When you can see the octopus sticking out, that's what I wanted. That's that's the bite. That's my bite. <laughs> I'm, I'm going in for it. I'm going in for it. Oh, man. Oh, Go for man. It. Can you give me? Yeah. Mm. <laughs> you got an octopus tail. <laughs> it's good. Mm. Mm. The flavors that he puts on top of it now lifts it to the next level. Mm. Oh wow, the sauce, the little bit of chili. Oh, and um, olive. Oh. Yeah? Yeah. Oh wow. Mm. Oh, but it's a Turkish restaurant, so you've got that whole different flavor profile. What's really great about it is the full flavor on it. To actually produce something that tastes this good as well. Oh man, this, this is a must eat Mauritius. This is a must eat. Mm. Oh, this is Ricky's wrap. The wrap's always like secret, you don't even know what's inside. Yeah. For the part. Oh, it's so stuffed full. Oh. oh man. Look at that. Oh wow. Mm. And it's like dripping. Ah, is it oozing? You can see it's oozing. All the juices that we came off the octopus. And this thing is stuffed with octopus and it's like 150 rupees. 150 rupees for that wrap. Oh man. Oh, she got into one of the, the nice mm -hmm. pieces. It's got like a nice bit of crispy. Yes. And then the top. <laughs> <laughs> mm. Nice crispy octopus on the outside, mm. soft and fluffy and juicy on the inside. Quite remarkable. Let's see if I can show you guys. So soft. <laughs> This little guy's not playing ball with me. No, he's going to break beautifully. No. But so soft. Oh. Mm. Oh, there's also the, the little bits of lemon notes in here as well. Oh, so they put the lemon in there as well? Like little pieces of. Oh, and the pickles and everything. Really delicious. It really is. But it's also, it, it's got hints of Turkish flavor mm. to it. It really does. Definitely. I don't know what they're doing in the rest of the world with their octopus shawamas, but here in Mauritius, we are treating them like kings. Mm -hmm. Really nice. I can't explain all those different flavors. Yum. 
You get these little tentacle bits. And there's such a nice contrast to these um, really, really soft pieces. You got the big soft pieces which are just fall apart mm. in your mouth. And you got the chewy little mm. tentacles that are full of the flavor. Exactly that. Thanks, bro. Mm -mm -mm. Flavor it's parcel. <laughs> Nice crunchy flavor parcel, mm -hmm. and then big succulent, still flavored, mm -hmm. but not as intense. Octopus shawarma. Wow. Who knew? In Mauritius. Mm -hmm. This is the homemade iced tea that Ricky's going to try open. <laughs> no, I pre opened it. <laughs> It's good. It's really nice. I'm not sure what that is. <laughs> well, maybe yeah. it's like a Turkish delight. Maybe rose or. Yes, oh. something like that. Drop the tamar and juice. It'll separate like that. Yeah, and then you just. <laughs> it's back. Nice. Oh man, I was munching through and look what I found. A massive piece. And that's huge. And I got an octopus. But it's got the little caramelized bit on the edge. I'm going to try that. Call me ringing. As usual, we're remaking hers. Well, I can't eat so much. and I, I want to eat the, the good stuff, obviously. But look how much octopus is in there. I mean, you got this piece of pineapple and olive and other salad bits that give oh, really tasty. And some of the salad bits are actually pieces of octopus. And if you keep hearing a phone ring, it's theirs. There we yeah. are. People trying to order. Sold but it's out. sold out. You got a book like we did. The minute we saw it. Like 30 minutes since octopus has started being yeah. served. And it's full. <laughs> and look at dessert. Because remember, we're in a Turkish restaurant. Okay, I didn't know there were so many types of these things. We might need to stay to tell us. This one is? This is Kadev. Kadev. With peanut and pistachio. This is all pistachio with a pistachio paste. This one that looks like a flower has got mixed nuts. Yeah, and it's called Bugach Baklava. Bugach. Bugach Baklava. Incredible. Where do you start? Turkish sweets in Mauritius. Homemade. Oh my word. Try the Kadoof, the Kadoof, I'm not sure. I'm just going to call it the peanut, and, the peanut and vermicelli one. Oh, wow. Mmm. Oh, it's like soft. Mm. Mm. Shimmy, shimmy. Mm. Mm. Oh, nutty and soft. It's so soft and there's syrup at the bottom. Oh, wow. It's sweet, but not overly sweet. It is so yum. Mm. Put it down, put it on the plate. Mm. Someone else can try that. <laughs> Spain finish. <laughs> Triangle time. This is just pistachio with pistachio paste. Oh, and it's like, oh, and it's also got the syrup at the bottom. Oh, man. Well, I don't know how to. I'm going to try and go for half. Go for it. Ooh, flaky. Ooh. Mm. Oh, the nut. Flaky pastry just falls apart in your mouth. Mm. 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 I love Turkish sweets. Mm -hmm. <laughs> well, because Ricky's got the prettiest fingernails. <laughs> she gets to open the flower. It's like got pistachio nuts and everything in it. I'm not sure what it is, so let's try 
dissect it, as you know we do, guys. We're not, oh, oh, look at all the nuts like on the inside. A present full of oh, wow. nutty beautifulnesses. I don't even know what look nut that. that is. It's the seeds of the flower, Rick. It's like a hazelnut. Oh, man. Okay, the dessert might be elegant, but... <laughs> Ricky eating it, not so much. <laughs> the whole thing in. Hazelnut. You actually got a hazelnut as well. Oh wow. It's like a, a, health, a health breakfast. It's a health breakfast with honey. Mm -hmm. Oh, I could eat that for breakfast. Mm. Ricky's trying the Kadoof. Oh, it's lovely. It's like a gooey, sticky, peanutty pastry nest. <laughs> <laughs> pastry nest, that's exactly what it is. It's a nest. Mm. But how soft is the vermicelli? So crispy and fall apart. It is, and it's like biscuity. It tastes like a biscuit. But better. <laughs> oh, I like that. How could you not try the triangle with all that pistachio on the inside? Yeah, like pistachio cream or something. Mm. Oh wow. Mm. I wasn't expecting it to be hard. It's like, um, I don't know what that is. I mean, it's not hard hard, but it's a... It's more... It'll come to me. Um, it's savory. I mean, because it's nuts. Yeah, it's nuts. <laughs> <laughs> it's not as syrupy on the inside. Uh -huh. it's really nice. And look at mm. the flaky pastry layers. Oh man. That's a very interesting taste. Or almost just the inside a, by itself. Almost a marzipan um Really? But I suppose a pistachio penny. Pistachio pan instead of marzipan. Hmm. More investigation required. Hmm. That's an unknown. <laughs> I can't even describe to you the texture of it. It's like a biscuit, but not um, like the inside of some sort of a chocolate. I have a great idea. The, the, the best way to describe it is you guys get down here and try it. Mm. <laughs> and then let us know what you think. It's really unique. I'm going to try the flour. <laughs> I'm just going to do what Ricky did. Go along. <laughs> like a health breakfast in the pudding. <laughs> it's so nutty. It's so nutty, but it's got the, the sweetness of the honey. Mm. And so many nuts. It does feel really healthy. I like it. Mm -hmm. I prefer the triangle one. Mm. <laughs> but that Mine's was really... <laughs> Tamarind is really nice after the, the sweet. Oh, With its nice sourness, yeah. It actually yeah. intensifies the tamarind it flavor. Works. Oh, wow. Mm, I like it. That's top, a clever idea. Tip. Get one of these and get any of those guys. Uh -huh. Took you the vermicelli one, or maybe the triangle if you like cookies. Yeah. And then some oh. tamarind. And then the tamarind mm. straight afterwards. Ooh. It's a thing. It's a, it's a thing. It's like someone should do. One of those types of sweets and like then a tamarind jelly or something on the oh, plate. Oh, that would be so great. Mm, truly Mauritian gourmet. Yes. Or Turkish gourmet. I don't know. Fusion gourmet. <laughs> Fusion gourmet. It would taste great. Someone should make it. Uh -huh. <laughs> Maybe look at one. <laughs> look at this display of beautifulness. Peanut rolls. Pistachios. Wow. These are great. Really, really great. Come and get them. Delish. This was Brian. <laughs> okay, it's 12 o'clock and here's the rest of the octopus. One hour and it's completely gone, everyone. One hour. Wow. But that is how good it is. That is genuinely how good it is. If you want the octopus, you're gonna to have to order it. It's that good. Okay, so although they have the amazing octopus on Wednesdays, they also do other great Turkish food. 
If possible, I'll stick some of their menu up here, or I'll just link it to their Facebook page. Wonderful looking Turkish food. This is Orange Blossom Mauritius, and they're the ones who made those sweets. This is Adali, right? This is their Turkish and local cuisine. This is the most important thing you're going to need from them. That phone number, if you've got to order, you've got to order it there or get it from Facebook. So if you're coming on Saturdays... Every Saturday. Port Louis, uh, near the Citadel. And there it is. Adali, Turkish and local. Saturday, 11.30 till 6. Book on Facebook. They also have a restaurant there, so you can eat normal food. Now let's go to the Blue Dot, where we are today for Wednesdays. Right, so where we are at the moment is Port Louis. You guys know where Port Louis is. Not Mexico or Spain. Uh -huh. Mauritius. And uh, near the, the church on the hill, over here. Really easy to find next to the SPM. Adali, Turkish and local cuisine. Oh man, what a treat this was. Loved every minute. Well, anyway, everyone, thanks for watching. We'll see you again next time.